Hold your ears, hold your ears. I found the new thrift store. I found the new thrift store. I'm so excited. Let's go. Well, brand new, brand new thrift store. Let's go see. I don't even know the name of it. It doesn't even have a name up on the top yet because it's new. So let's go. It's cool, y'all. Let's see what we've got. Look at all this. Oh, look at all this, y'all. Now, this is Arizona Thrift Company, and they are at 58th Avenue. I almost hate telling you this because you're going to know my thrift place, but they're at uh, 58th Avenue in Greenway. And if you've never been over here, they've got some really cool, fun stuff. How about a really cool dragon? Ooh, a dragon. That's fun. So they have all this, these little, oh, look at her. Oh. Look at her, she's so cute. Three dollars. Now, what do we got? Is that a hole? It's not. Is it a cork? I can't tell. I can't tell, y'all. Can you tell? I don't know. Hmm. She's three dollars. She's kind of, you know, she's small. Very cute. I like it. And a uh, cowboy. A cowboy. Now, look at this. This is a bowling pin that is an ashtray. <laughs> a bowling pin that's an ashtray. I guess you could hang it up. I don't know. That's different, isn't it? Very different. A canoe. Another canoe. That's a Daisy and Buttons right there for $2. Well, now what would go in there? Hmm. Maybe. We'll see about that. $2 is pretty good for that. Okay. And then we've got... Oh, okay. That's not what we're looking for. Oh. I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a cart, I think. What have I got here? Another just sit about, I guess. It's not a shaker. Just a little city thing made in Japan, though. It's pretty cool. Right, Y'all, now look at this one. This is really pretty. Five dollars. I don't know. I mean, five dollars is not bad. And I don't wait. Is that a chip or is that just dirt? Let me let me see if that scrapes off. I don't know. That's uh, oh, I think it's just dirt, like a spillover or something like that. I'm not gonna get it because I'm not sure. Oh, wait, here's another one. There's two of them. They're five dollars each. Oh, uh, yeah. And look at all these uh, ginger jars with no lids. They would have had lids. Okay. Well, I will probably look this up. I mean, it's cute with daisy and buttons. And I don't know what that's for. So I'm going to I'm gonna look it up and see for two dollars. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe it's worth picking up. All right. Let's go to another section. They've got... See back there? Oh my God, look back there. Lots and lots of hard goods. Okay, little, big. We'll go for the big one. We're going for, we're going for the big one, y'all. Yes, we are. We're gonna have some positive thinking here. Going for the big one. Oh, that one has two tiers, which is nice. And then we've got a lot of plastics over here, which I don't pick up a lot of plastics, but you never know. Like, that's Tupperware right there, but not anything I need. Okay, I don't see a lot. Let's, let's head to the base. It's a, I don't know, is it a house? It's a house. But it's in this bag, so it's hard to tell. There's the chimney, and it's got some smoke coming out of it. Well, it's got cotton coming out of it. And it's got coasters in here. But I can't figure out what 
these are. I mean, did they just not finish it? Ranch house with fence. Oh, it's a fence. It's got a fence. <laughs> That's funny. Three dollars for a ranch house with a fence. And we've got, oops, oops. Oh, oh, Lord. It's a mahjong set. Oh, everything. This one, unfinished. Cross stitch box with lid. And then they've got all these little, those are cute little uh, refrigerator things. I didn't get to the back yet. I didn't even get all the way to the back yet. This is kind of a little crafty area. Lots of crafty things in here, which is really neat. If you like to do the crafty stuff, this is probably, I'm going to guess, cross stitch. And I can't do cross stitch. I can't tell what, it's, what it is. They're cute, though. Five dollars. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. And this one is, uh, look at that. It's little kitties. It's kitties. They're cute. Really cute. I mean, that one's ten. I bought this one for five. Let me see. Now, that's not very old, though. It's not vintage. Look at all these. Oh, my God. Look at all these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. I will have to come back and just sit down and go through those. That's for sure. That is for sure. All right. Off to the back. Off to the back. Let's go. Now we've got toys. Lots of toys. Let's see if we see anything here that looks like it's so old we need it. Because <laughs> you never know. Thomas and Friends. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Some babies. Oh, there's a, a Dumbo. Mm, lots and lots of... Uh, Stuffies, some plush. I'm not seeing anything super old at all. So let's go back here. We got a noisy cart. I'm going to have these floral um, things. I'm going to look in here because I noticed they have some glass pieces on here. And I want to make sure I don't miss any of that. A lot of it's fall, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, look at all the clear, there's always those tons of clear vices. Okay, that's the newer, newer stuff that I'm seeing here. Mostly. Okay, lots of baskets. I don't really see anything that just gotta have in a basket or in a floral thing. So we'll just keep going. Keep going. Oh, look at this frog by this frog. Ooh, look at this frog made out of chenille. He's made out. Of, it's a frog princess. And it's made in China. I thought for sure it would be handmade. It's so cute. But no. It's not handmade, and I wanted it to be handmade. Darn. Well, let's see what else we see. Lots of cute things here. I keep seeing the tops to fairy lamps like that, but no bottom. This is cool. I think it's new, though. Yeah, it's resin. Um, no. A whole lot going on right here. This is cute. It's newer, but look how cute it is, that car. I mean, 
I don't think it serves a purpose. It's just for sitting. Showing off, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's see. I gotta get comfortable here. I gotta get really comfortable here. Oh, look at this luster. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. They do want 25 for it, which is kind of high. Let's see. I think it's probably North Turkey, but I'm not positive. And 25 is more than I want to spend on that. So we're going to say no to that one. But these guys... Now these are not, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The ones from Portugal, are they? Because there's a lot of them. There's like three of them down here. There's that one. They're really cool. For $13, but I don't think they are. And there's this one. Oh no, look, they're, they're Japanese. It's really cool. Okay. This. Oh, what do we got here? It says made in Japan. And they're little trays. They're little, ooh. These are kind of cool. We really need to look at these. Let's look at these. These are really pretty cool. They're they're lacquered. I don't know. Yeah. The lacquers kind of started turning yellow, and so they've seen better days. It's a cool elephant, but I actually have one similar to this. A little sake cup. Gosh, what else? Wow, there's a lot to look back. Look at back there. It's a pretty ginger jar. Doesn't really have the color. It's not as colorful as I like for it to be. Hmm. Okay, I'll go up a, a shelf to where I can straighten up. Oh, that feels better. A really neat teapot here. Look at that. Oh, it's got a dragon on it. I like it. 65. Does that say 65? Holy moly, y'all. I can't do 65. These are pretty sure not Yadro. This is kind of cool looking, but it's just the details not real good. Oh, 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 that's a pretty bohemian vase. Now, what do they want for that one? 20. If this is not Murano. No, I don't think this is. Oh, dear. No, it's bohemian. I'm pretty sure. It's a little luster wear vase, but nothing that excites me. Oh, okay, we'll go this way now. Once again, some pretty cool, cool things in here. <laughs> but, there's a Scentsy. Let's see what it is. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this, y'all? Don't tell me this is fake. Because if this isn't fake, I'm going to be like... Yes, it is. It's a, um, I think it's a candle. It smells so good. <laughs> Five dollars. That's kind of fun. And let's see what the sense is. It says, mm, I can only see the bottom of it. That doesn't help us. Oh, that's it. Well, it's missing. I think it's missing some pieces, some pieces, parts. Well, that's not going to do us much good. I like Scentsy's. I like the Scentsy brand. But, um, yeah. And then bigger stuff down there. Oh, this is neat. Oh, look at this. For $8. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is not wood, y'all. That one is, that one is cast iron. 
and I like it. Okay, we will get that for sure. Got a lot of these little Japanese cups. Got here, I mean teacups. What is this? I don't know what it is. What they? Oh, it's for slides. Okay, right? Like for looking at slides. Let me see. I don't know, or maybe in a lab. 38 by 38 milliliter frames. 20 piece set. Oh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's old. It's old. I want three dollars for it. Um, that has a bit of a briard look to it. There's two of them. And little ashtrays. All right. We have to find the right things in here for the right price. That's what we have to find. Yeah, I don't see much in there. Okay, next shelf down. Let's see what this is. It is, this is cool. This is one of those little, oh, it's a box. It's one of those. You got to get it apart boxes for 12. Puzzle box. There you go. Okay, we're going to like it. I like the way it looks. That's cool. I think for 12, we might do all right on that. Oh, look at this. This. There's the lid. This is old, y'all. This is old, 19. I remember having something with this design when I first started doing reselling. It sold really fast. Now I can't remember who it was, who did it. This is pretty. I like the, col the colors. Oh, that does have, it is signed. Of course, I can't really read it on the glasses on. Five dollars. Mm. Oh, let me put my glasses on and see what I can figure out who who done it. Who made it? What do y'all think? It says it says made in Mexico. Now we know. <laughs> Look at this little bear with his birthday cake. Oh how cute. Barefoots. That's cute. And here's a brush with a horse on the end of it. And a oh, shoehorn. I don't think we need any of that. And then we got into the wood stuff down here. Which is interesting. And I don't see much here either, y'all. And one more row down. Look at all that. There's some nice china. Two boxes of it. Now we're going to move on up here. And that is not something we want. There's a little flower frog. Kind of nice. Oh, these plates are pretty. Okay. Hand. Probably hand painted. Hand painted is all it says. Doesn't say who hand painted them. They are lovely. What's this? Oh, oh gosh, it's heavy. Oh, Lordy, that's heavy. I don't know what that's made out of. That is pretty. It's in really good condition, but he is really heavy. Oh, but I don't think we need him either. See? That was like crazy. What else? What else? These are interesting little guys here. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's cute. And anything else back there? No. Oh, another flower frog. It's in this, whoa, inside a little jar. That's nice. Very nice. Anybody need some corbels? 
Isn't that what they're called? Corvus? Yeah, I think so. And we're trying to get a little 4th of July basket, which I probably should get because I don't have anything that's 4th of July. And nothing there, y'all. Keep looking. There's some mid-century uh, dishes for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Oh, it's Italy. Very nice. Very, very nice cake getter out of her. Look at this. Gorgeous. It's really pretty. Don't want five for it. Maybe. It's nice. Um, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess uh, napkin rings for that, for that, and that's probably Italy, but uh, there's only one, there's only one, I won't go there, I won't go there, and then this is very pretty, nothing on it, nothing on it. Pretty teacup. Okay, what's the bowl? Oh, lordy. You just really have to dig here. Eh. Not, not a crazy, crazy thing here. <sighs> you really have to do some digging. Cause some of it's pretty far back there. And I like that they have such a good selection. I love this little frame. I'm going to have this little frame for a dollar. Probably take that picture out of it. May put something else in it. That's plastic, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, look at this. Tonic. Hand painted, and it says tonic. Now, it would have had a, it would have had a stopper for sure, and that would be a fantastic if we had the stopper. Um, but we don't. I don't see it anywhere anyway. Gravy. Mm. Is this, is this a napkin on there? Oh, maybe. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of pretties in here. Um, look at that. Yeah, I think it's probably remade, Victorian remade. Curious. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Looks like a napkin, like they laid a napkin in the bowl. Yeah, oh, some pretty plates. Okay, this is pretty little teacup and saucer. That's nice. I like it. Seven dollars. And here's a, this is a pretty nice dresser um, plate, but it looks pretty faded. I want to guess that it's Limoges, but it looks pretty faded. So it's just not real brilliant. The paint's not real brilliant. And we've got a lot of Franciscan apple down there. Lots of it. And some collector plates. Okay, Wow. And up here, oh, look at all that. I didn't even look up there. But it is big. It's all big stuff. Although, I like this guy. I like this guy. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say oh, to us. He's pretty. $8. And it says, can't read it. But... I really like it, and the price is right. It looks like it says Madden or something like that. Um, made in USA. Now, is that a dirty spot or a chip? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see as it is. That spot on its tail looks like somebody tried to patch a hole or a chip, and it's not done well. So we're going to... 
have to ignore that one. What else do we see here? Mm, pretty quiet. I like that vase. That's a cool looking vase right there. Let's get that down and look at it. That's pretty much all I see up here. What have we got here? Look at this. 1960s Regal Stackable Food Tote. Look at this. You guys have you ever seen this before? Okay, here's your typical 60s looking family. At the food tote. It, for, perfect for picnics, outing, church outings. And it has all these metal. Look at that. I, this thing has never been used, y'all. 1960s. That is incredible. That's incredible. They're asking. What are they asking for this? 25. That is just, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to get it because it's large. But it's pretty cool and it's here but it's something you want. Because it's pretty neat. We've got lots and lots of mugs and more plastics. Oh, I remember this uh, pattern. See, I've seen that pattern quite a lot. I like that bowl. And I've got glassware. I don't know what that is. What is that? Interesting. Here, we got a peppy. We got a peppy for five dollars, but where's the salt one that goes with it? No salt. Peppy's cool, but I kind of need salt to go with her. So I don't think I'm gonna get peppy. That's too bad. That's too bad. Because I like it. And we don't have the salt to go with it. Okay, got some stuff up here. Cool things, cool things in there. Mostly kitchen stuff here. And all through here, this is all kitchen stuff. So let's see what else we can find. I'm not really big on picking up the kitchen stuff unless it's, you know, extremely cool. Extremely decorative. Yep, let's see what we got. In this back section here, got some soaps. Oh, we're in the purses, so we're in, we're in purses here. And, oh, wait, what is this one? This is a fun purse. This is a fun purse, y'all. Isn't it? Looks like it might be made in Mexico. Can't tell for sure. But it is fun. Fun. It's also ten dollars. I don't know if it's that fun. I don't know if it's ten dollars fun. It's cool, but you know, and if I were gonna carry it, I'd pick ten ten dollars for it in a heartbeat. But for resale, I don't think it's what we're looking for. I'm obviously always looking for um box bags, which that one almost qualifies. Um now I'm throwing stuff down. Okay, let's see what else we see. Okay, not much there. More purses. This is a really neat store, though. I do like it a lot. There's a Brighton, uh, Brighton tin. It doesn't even say Brighton. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, I like it. I like this store. I think we've seen most of it. Okay, Let's look at this guy. He looks a lot like Artisana Rinconada, but I'm not, oh, sorry, y'all. I'm not seeing the signature anywhere. I think he's cool enough, but I don't think he's Artisana Rinconada. I think he might be a pretend, but I like him. I'm gonna get him. Let's get him. See what else we find. We'll get this. Put 
this in here with our other goodies. There we go. And I did look that canoe up, and it is, oh, this is pretty cool. I like the size of this frame is what I like. Um, it is either Ellie Smith or um, Fenton. I think Ellie Smith maybe might glow, but I don't have a, I don't have a black light with me today. But that's okay. I still like it. And copper quartz is cool. Da, 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 da. Little Miss Maine. That's neat. Oh, what do we got in here? Some really pretty spoon wrists, or knife wrists, I'm sorry. They're knife wrists, aren't they? Boy, they're asking for those, because those are cool. Oh, look at that piece. Oh, 15. That's really cool looking. Oh, look at all this. 60. Set of 30 pieces. Oh, I like the purple bottles. We have to look at that. All right, let me see. Here's all about their sales, you guys. Monday, brick brack 25% off. Toys and games on Tuesday. Wild West Wednesday lamps and pictures. I like that. And then all of your shoes and belts, accessories, and furniture on Fridays. Saturday, the whole store, 20% off. Yay! Great store, you guys. Y'all, yay! Arizona Thrift Company, 58th Avenue and Greenway, northeast corner. All my Arizona people, they set up, they started in June. Some are slow for them. Get over here. Help them. They've got the best cause. It's New Leaf. They give them furniture, clothes, everything. It's battered women and they, where they take the children and they give them clothes. It, it's just a great organization. And I'm, I'm going to come over often. I gave them a couple of cards and I'm going to be here often. I mean, it's not too far from my house. If you get into the Arizona area and you're not from Phoenix, get over here. They need, they need lots of shoppers in for the summer. Come holidays they'll i'm sure they'll be fine but come on over and see what they've got because they've got some great stuff at incredible prices yes come on come on over here you'll find some good stuff thanks for going along y'all bye